Hello and welcome to Trackmania Map Review. In this format we will check out the top 5 tracks of the week. Before we get started, I would like to thank the featured mappers Isarix, Origo X, Visa, Agrabu, Jackmania, and Elops for their work, you are awesome, and now let's go. On the 5th spot we got Kaleidoscope X made by Visa, and I can tell you one thing, this map is huge. On this track, you can drive for more than 5 minutes and the route features any surface you can imagine, even two very small bobslide parts, and all of this twice, because the track is completely mirrored. The route is kind of beginner friendly and the navigation is easy. So I bet some of you could have a lot of fun hunting this. I will not show the full replay, since it is 5 minutes long, but you can check the track out yourself and download it from trackmania.exchange. And now let's enjoy a little more of the replay. Alright, let me know in the comments if you like this track, and now let's move on to the next one. On the fourth spot we got Aftermath build by Origo X, this smooth flowy intermediate dirt track takes place in a fallout like post-apocalyptic city, three months after the strike, the fog hasn't cleared completely yet. In the tunnels you can still see sparks from destroyed power cables. You can hear the rats in the sewers fighting for the last drop of water. Their screams echo off the dusty concrete walls. Your eyes and throat burn. Death is all around, but soon you will be at the finish. third spot on the list goes to Isengard build by Isarix. Sadly I was not able to download the mod for this one, but I bet it would look insane with it. This Lord of the Rings themed fast tech map is easy to learn, but hard to master, and you better don't mess with Saruman, he is wounded and very dangerous, and here is a wizard to deal with young Hobbit. The second place goes to Blaze Build by Elops. This is an absolutely beautiful and technically challenging plastic track levitating somewhere over the rainbow. Even though it gets harder in the end, this route is addicting and a huge skill check. Try to keep the fourth gear all the way, you need to drive the perfect line for this, I am talking about centimeters, or in track mania terms, meters. Haha. <laughs> anyway, I hope this will get featured in Cup of the Day one day.
Since you made it this far into the video, may consider leaving a like, or even subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. And now let's move on. And the winner of the week, on the first spot, is Toto Dill, built by Agrabo and Jack Mania. I bet this flowy plastic speed tech map will soon be featured in Cup of the Day, it is fun and easy to drive, and it looks amazing. Maybe you can even find some Pokemons on it, but be careful, the risky finish is really hard to get. So those were the top 5 tracks of the week, let me know in the comments, which one was your favorite. I will see you next week. Good luck and have fun.